Hello and welcome to our second video on Bronson Lowry acid base reactions, and specifically, we'll be deciding which side of an equilibrium is favored. So, let's get right to it. Which is our base and which is our acid in this scenario? Well, what we can see here is we have a sodium connected to a oxygen, and really, we can write this as a sodium cation because it's an ionic bond and those are electrostatic attractions between opposite charges. So if this is our cation, which is a positive charge, our oxygen is our negative. So this is our base. And another reason why we know this is our base is because bases tend to have a negative formal charge or a neutral charge. I wouldn't really call it a charge, it's neutral and acids tend to have a positive formal charge or just be neutral. Okay, so what we also need to show is our lone pairs on that oxygen. So let me do that. We have a lone pair here, lone pair here, and a lone pair here. So if this is our base, this molecule over here is our acid. Now, do you see any protons? No, I don't see any, but we should know that there are protons here. There is a hydrogen atom sticking off of each side of the ring because carbon likes to make four bonds. We have one, two, three. We need another bond, and that would be our hydrogen. So we always start at our base when drawing arrows to indicate that we are taking a proton. And when we take this proton, we also have to indicate that we are breaking that bond. And we'll be placing those electrons onto that carbon. So I'm going to represent this molecule over here, but to save time, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. So let's see if this works. Do that. Move this over here. And do that. This. There we go. And just for the heck of it, let's show our positive or our plus sign, I should say, to indicate what we're doing. So what did we do over here? Well, this was our base. We gained a proton. So we are going to lose this negative charge because protons are positively charged and we're just taking a proton. So we'll remove these electrons also because we're using those to make a bond with our proton. So. We'll say that's our bond right there. And we will say there's our proton. And that will also be called our conjugate acid because the molecule that gained the proton will be our conjugate acid. So this is our conjugate base because it lost the proton. So we had a proton sticking off of this carbon atom and we lost that proton and we shifted those electrons onto this carbon atom. So we have a lone pair of electrons. Let me use these as our lone pair. And they are on this carbon atom. And this molecule was originally neutral. Electrons are negatively charged. So we also need our negative formal charge specifically on this carbon. So now we need to determine which side of the acid-base uh, equilibrium is favored. Well, we always compare our conjugate base to our base when we do this. So our conjugate base has a negative on the carbon. This conjugate base has a negative on the oxygen. Oxygen is more electronegative, thus it is more stable. So we need to draw our arrow indicating this side of the reaction is favored. You can also just decrease the length of this arrow if it lets me, goodness. Yeah, it's not gonna let me, but uh, this arrow would just be smaller. Let's see if I can do it this way, there we go. So that would indicate that this side of the reaction is favored. I hope this video helped and there will be more videos on this.